On the way to Mount Sinai, Israel met Moses' father-in-law, who was a priest, and agreed the God of the Hebrews was the best God, proved by getting this large group past Pharaoh. God had been leading them with a pillar of cloud by day and fire by night. After three months, they camped at the foot of the mountain. The pillar rested on top, blasting out holiness, blazing holy. Moses went up and spoke with God. God laid out an agreement that he would be Israel's God. Israel, down at the foot of the mountain, was happy to go with any plan Moses and God arrived at. They did not want to talk directly to God for fear of death. The people complained to Moses. They did not want to complain directly to the Lord. God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. The first half was basically God telling them how it would be with him being their God. He is the one God, and he's jealous. He wants the worship of his people, once a week particularly. These are the balance of the rules. Obey your parents. Don't murder. No adultery. Do not steal. Do not lie. And do not put your desire on the possessions of others. Taking a day off every week was unheard of then. The Jews have more holidays than any religion. Still, one thing God is not, he is not a statue. Back then in those days with no TV, religion was the only show. So all the nations made fancy, full of jewels and gold, valuable idols and had visually elaborate and often fertility-themed ceremonies around them. This is why religion is basically a show. It started as a show. God was not to be compared to other gods in any way. The God of the Hebrews has always claimed to be the one true God, the creator of all things, pre-Big Bang. The gods of the other nations weren't gods. They were made of wood, crafted beautifully for sure, but they could tip over. God told Moses how to make a tent called the tabernacle. God conducted his dealings with the Hebrews from inside the tent. It was quite a chore to get directly to God in the tent. He was in the back with the Holy of Holies, where they kept the Ark of God. They put the original Ten Commandments in the Ark. Only one priest, once a year, got to go in there. They tied a rope to this priest, so if he died in the Holy of Holies, they could pull him out without having to go in themselves. 